Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name with a very short video out right now. It's currently like just after 4 p.m. on Monday the 16th of March. You know, legal tampering was, you know, basically began today, is allowed from today onwards. Free agency officially begins on Wednesday. And we got a lot of big news today, but not that much for the Giants. You know what I mean? We got news, uh... We got the trade with uh, D Hop going to the Cardinals and David Johnson going to the to Texans. I believe there was uh, Jason Pierre-Paul re-signed with the Bucks. Stefan Diggs is out here tweeting as usual. Looks like he might be traded from the Vikings. Uh, we got a bunch of franchise tags, and of course, the one that I will be talking about, which is why it's a short video, is the Giants placing the franchise tag on Leonard Williams. So far in the day, now then, from here on out. Anything could happen, you know, something could happen until like 12, you know, 11 p.m. in the night, 12 a.m. I definitely think moves are going to be made tomorrow for the Giants, but nobody's too sure. But the Giants have placed a non-exclusive franchise tag on defensive tackle Leonard Williams, former first round draft choice for who they traded for from the Jets in this past regular season. So they're using the defensive tackle tag on Leonard Williams, which is very smart. Had they used a defensive end one, I think it would have been like three or four million dollars more the franchise tag which i'm sure a lot of you know but for those of you that don't it's basically like a one year contract that gives the team you know until july 15th to negotiate a long-term contract and the money amount i believe it's like the it's an average of the top five players are being paid at the position or something like that the top five salaries from the position so williams right now under that franchise tag he's going to be earning like it's around like 15 million, it could be more, but it's around 15 million, so it's still a, quite a bit of money. I really think that if Williams, you know, during this time period, if they don't work out a long-term a long -term contract, the Giants are most likely gonna let him play out that one-year deal on the franchise tag, because I'm not sure if there's any team that would want to trade for a Leonard Williams. I don't think any team really needs a defensive tackle right now, or, you know, one that has the skill set of Williams. The only team that comes to mind, in fact, will be the Jaguars. And the Jaguars are kind of selling everybody, so if we can, if the Jaguars trade for Williams and we get something like a fourth or third round pick, I really don't think we're getting anything above a third. I'll be, you know, I'm okay with that. I saw a crazy um scenario that I would be completely down for if it happened with the basically the Jaguars and Giants switching players, Williams for Ngakwe. I do not see that happening at all. But then again, they sent away Calais Campbell for a fifth round pick, so who knows? But Honestly, if Williams can't work out a long-term deal with the Giants, nobody's stressing over it. I mean, I already think he's going to be overpaid. And just by, like my last video, I'm sure you guys know that I think almost every player is overpaid at their position now. I feel like every player that's going to sign a new deal this offseason off season is going to reset their market. And that's not how it's supposed to work, but it's going to happen. Like, everybody's just a little too greedy now, and that's what it is. You guys can sugarcoat it all you want. Like, oh, it's just what the market dictates. These players, just, you know, they're getting their money. They can still get their money. They don't necessarily have to go out here and then be eating up 10 to 15% of a, of a team's cap space. That's just greed at that point. But I digress if you guys disagree. Williams, listen, he is worth right around this tag, in my opinion. And he's not even a top five player at the position. And the tag is the top five salaries, the average of those top five salaries. I wouldn't give him more than like 15, 16 million dollars a year. And that's already a lot. If he wants more than that, let him walk. Like no, no team's going to trade for him. Just so just let him walk. Let him play out this, uh, this one last year. Then let him walk. I mean, he did help improve our run defense. But did you really see an improvement on the field? Like... Let's let's keep it real right here. Did you really see improvement in the run defense on the field? The defense overall was still trash. So did Williams really make that much of a difference? I mean, we all know that the Lennon Williams trade in general was probably Dave Gellman's worst move as a general manager. So, you know, this guy is involved in the worst move in a, for that general manager has made. So is he even worth keeping? Like, like, just think about it for a second. We can survive without Lennon Williams. We still have a good, strong defensive tackle group without Williams. Would I be mad if they take, you know, they say they let Williams go and then they take a tackle in the draft and like, I don't know, the third to fifth rounds? No, I wouldn't because there's reason to. He is he is one of the better tackles on our team. It's really up between him and Dalvin Thompson for, for who is the best defensive tackle on the team. But it's not like the team's the, the defensive line is going to be terrible without him. I think we'll survive. 
But that's really all the news out today for the Giants so far. Like I said, news can drop at any moment, who knows. But as of right now, only thing out there is Williams being franchise tag. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.